Okay, this is a 1985 Kmart 20-inch box fan model K223. Got this fan yesterday at a flea market for five bucks. This makes two of these 1985 K223s I have. I have this one, and then I have another one right back there sitting on top of all those fans. The other one's in better shape than this one, though, but not by a whole lot. This one's not rusty. Got real lucky with that. There's no rust in it. So it's just like my other one, rust free. The only difference is the grills are a tiny bit worse than this one. Other than that, they're about the same. Man, this one's a whole lot more wore out. The other one's basically never used. This one definitely cannot say the same thing about. This one's pretty worn out. It's got your standard brown speed sticker. Handle and everything. Let's go ahead and flip it around the back. The back grill is just so deeply yellowed. It's it's just surprising. I've never had a fan with this deeply yellowed of a grill. It doesn't look all that bad on camera, but trust me, in person it's way worse. Actually it does look bad on camera. That's bad. <laughs> it's got a McMillan motor, of course. Uh at least the grill ain't in too bad a shape. Neither grill is really. Let's go ahead and start it up on low. A little bit of motor home. Back girl rattles. I'm going to be taking care of that soon though. Let's go ahead and kick it up to medium. Sounds real good. And I'm going to go ahead and kick it up to high. Moves good air, of course, as all Lakewood fans do. And we'll go ahead and shut it off. I will have a before video of this fan and an after video on my main channel, which is the Fan More Man. You guys can see how bad this thing really was before I got the chance to work on it. I generally am not going to put before videos on this channel unless they're like really bad or have a really common problem that I can show you guys how to fix if you have a Lakewood fan. Like this one did have a common problem of being, of course, stiff, but... That's a pretty general repair. Just put some oil in the oil port since she freed it up. And now it runs beautiful. Um, I do think I gotta do a tiny bit more work on the bearings though. Like go back into the motor like I was before. I had the motor split right into pieces and working on it and everything. Get it all cleaned out. I think I'm gonna go back in it one more time because when you first start this one up for the day it's a bit stiff for about 20 seconds. But it frees right up and everything. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Probably something I shouldn't even bother worrying about. Then again, this is my living room fan, and it gets used a lot, so being free would probably be in its best interest of not getting worn out. Uh, at least all the screw holes are good, that's all I gotta say. The only one that's cracked on the whole fan is that one right there. Which, that's unusual for the whole foot to be cracked like that. I've only seen that one other time, and it actually had the foot broke right off. Which sucks, because then the fan sits really unlevel. Yeah, really nice fan here. I love these K223s. I can never stop buying them. So that's why you see me having so many of the things. So, thanks for watching.